What's up everybody? So I'm going to teach you how to calibrate your pH uh, meter and your parts per million or total dissolved substances meter. This is really easy to do. The process is the same for both of them, both meters. All you need is some hot water, some clean water, purified water, um, reference solution for your pH meter, 7.0 and 4.0, and then for your total dissolved substances, reference solution. There is three different ways to measure, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to use uh, this measurement, the 1500 parts per million, for this blue pen right here. So all you need is the little screwdriver that comes with this um, meter. These came together off eBay for $20. So uh, you, you get what you pay for. You have to calibrate them uh, quite often. But you just pour the reference solution out into these little cups right here. And you're going to take your cup and your thermometer, you're going to put it in there and then you're going to put it in the hot water <clears throat> and the reason you do this is because you test these at 25 degrees celsius or 77 degrees fahrenheit so I'm going to stick it in the water for just a little bit to heat it up So once it's just a couple degrees away, I take it out of the water because it'll keep heating up. So it's about 76 degrees right now. So you just take your meter out, you rinse it off real fast, and you're going to stick it in here and turn it on. So it says 3.9. So you take your screwdriver and you just go to the back right here. The little screw, it's the only little screw in the back and you adjust it. There you go, 4.0. The one doesn't really matter in this case. You know, you rinse it off and you always keep the pH uh, meter in a storage solution for the electrode or uh, whatever it is in there, it keeps it moist and uh, it works really good. That's what my research told me, so that's what I'm doing. Um, and then the process is the exact same. You do the pH meter twice, 4.0 and 7.0. Uh, the process is would be the exact same. Dunk it in the water, you know, pull it out around 74 degrees. It'll keep heating up. You stick that in there. You're supposed to leave these in there for a little bit longer, but I don't. This is just how I do it. <clears throat> so, uh, and then uh, the process is also the exact same for your parts per million. You just take this out. You don't have to keep these in a storage solution, you just wipe them off. And uh, I usually don't keep the lid on it, I just let it air dry so uh, nothing funky gets on it, moisture in the cap or whatever. But yeah, you just use the reference solution, pour some into a cup, oops, it's just water. <laughs> but uh, put it in the hot water, heat it up, stick it in there, and then you just take this little screwdriver and you adjust it accordingly to 1500 and it's as easy as that um, I don't use the powders or whatever I get these just at the the store the growing store down the street um, this is the storage solution right here uh, I switch it out about every two weeks um, 
And I also sometimes add distilled water. I don't know if that's bad for it, but just to make it last longer, I plan on getting a different pen soon anyway, so I'm not too worried. But even if it's off, I guess, I calibrate it every week, and uh, at least it's consistent. So yeah, they work good if you calibrate them all the time. And uh, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys.